guys, welcome back to my channel. I hear you guys, Amy, sometimes your fashion's a little expensive, do something on a budget. Well today, we are kicking off a new series, how to look expensive and bougie on a budget. Basically, I want to do these videos every so often where I go to a store or an online retailer known for their affordable clothing and pick out pieces to add to my closet that I can make complete outfits with or that I can pair with items already in my closet that can make you guys look expensive and classy and chic and bougie on a budget for an affordable price. I mean, everyone wants to look cute without spending like a 500 bucks on one outfit, right? It's a no-brainer. So today's video is in partnership with Boohoo. I have this huge package, which I am so, <gasps> it's going everywhere. I'm so excited to unbox this or unpack this with you. I'm gonna show you the pieces that I got, but also I'm gonna show you them styled in little outfits and how I would wear them so that you guys can look like you stepped off the one way or spent like a thousand bucks on your outfit and you know you didn't because we're balling on a budget over here, ladies. Okay, so the first thing I picked up are a pair of printed shorts. I saw these and I was like, these look so cute on the model. You guys know I love blush pink and I'm not usually a print girl, but I thought that these would be really, really fun with some like basic plain tops on top. These are in a UK size eight or a USA size four. They're super, super cute and this waistband is nice and sturdy so they can fit as like a nice high waist and they're pretty short because you guys know I love short shorts. So for this outfit, I paired our shorts with just a simple white tube top. The shorts are printed so they have a lot going on and so I thought a minimal up top keeps everything balanced and again, neutrals keep for everything really expensive looking. I also just went ahead and paired with gold jewelry and then some wedges for a super cute daytime look. You guys, I will put the prices on the screen next to the item that I'm showing and they will also all be linked in the description bar if you want to check them out. One of the easiest ways to look chic and expensive is to go with a neutral color palette and to be plain with no prints. And you guys know I'm bodysuit obsessed, so I picked up this bodysuit right here. This is a black tank top star bodysuit, but this is perfect for going out because it has this deep V underwire bar in it, so it's pretty low cut. Honestly, all you have to do when you get a bodysuit that is slightly sexy like this is throw on a blazer over your shoulders, some black high-waisted skinny jeans, and you instantly look expensive and put together in some heels. Boom, you got yourself a going out look. You could even do a skirt because it is the summer obsessed with this. This is a double breasted mini dress you guys. It's pinstripe. It is so cute. This double breasted kind of construction is so in right now. I see so many, actually I got quite a few double breasted things you guys will see. I thought this looked so much more expensive than it is. The buttons are really nice. This has white and black so again it's really plain and also the easiest way to look expensive. I didn't even see but this even comes with a waist belt for a little bit of waist snatching which I am here for because this waist always needs to be snatched. This next dress I am so excited about for a little va va boom sexy. This is a little black dress with our double breasted construction. This is an off the shoulder bardot dress. It's going to be really hard to show you guys. This is an off the shoulder long sleeve dress. You guys know I love anything off the shoulder because you can instantly dress it up with jewelry and make it look super chic and super expensive. It's also a midi dress and it has the buttons going all the way out like the suit buttons. So it has that double breasted suit dress kind of look. Again, this and some pointy stilettos with just some jewelry makes the perfect, really classy date night look. And I think this dress looks so much more expensive than it is. I'm obsessed with it. I also picked up this white long line blazer. This one is made in Italy too, so very bougie and fancy. It has in the shoulder pads and the sleeves are also automatically ruched for you so you don't have to like roll them up to wear them halfway. And it also has this kind of like long line boyfriend fit, which is really in. I am usually all about the tailored blazer, but I see a lot of girls wearing the oversized blazer in the summer, and I think it looks so, so chic. And you guys know I can never have too many blazers. This is one of the easiest ways to look expensive and chic because you can drape it over your shoulders or you can actually wear it, and it just instantly makes you look so much more put together and chic. I don't have any white blazers in my collection and I thought this would be the perfect summer third layering piece when it gets a little cooler in the night to add to all my summertime outfits. This next one is gonna be a love it or hate it, but I also think leopard can look either really tacky or really expensive. There are certain prints that I will stick with and those are prints like stripes or polka dots and I also think leopard can be considered a neutral print that will never go out of style. This is a leopard print bodysuit. The top is kind of like this crossover wrap shirt, which is a little bit on the looser side. It's not super form-fitting, which means, again, it's not going to look trashy because form-fitting leopard can be a little bit like, you're not scary spice. But I thought this would look cute with some high-waisted black trousers this tucked in and just some heels for a night out. Really cute and really inexpensive. Two more things you guys, denim skirts are really in for the summer and so I wanted to jump on the denim mini skirt bandwagon. 
Fun fact, when I was in high school, I would always wear denim mini skirts, like every summer. That is all I wore. And this little blush pink one I thought was so freaking cute. I love anything blush pink, and so I had to have this. This is just a traditional denim mini skirt. It has no real distressing, although the bottom is frayed. So this skirt I actually wanted to pair with a white crew neck shirt, but I think it also looks great with a button down. I love it on so much more than I thought, and I paired it with my Zara slides, but you could do Keds. You could do like so many different shoes with this. I hope this fits over these hips, but I think this could be styled really casually with like some sneakers even, or slides. This is just a really kind of wear everywhere piece and it will switch it up for me wearing denim shorts all the freaking time last but not least if you guys want to look expensive something i have seen all over the runways and celebrities wearing are those oversized double breasted blazer dresses they then throw on some over the knee boots and some stilettos and they just wear nothing underneath and they look so classy and so chic so when I saw this on Boohoo, I had to try it. This is a white double-breasted blazer. It's so hard to show you guys off. This has the shoulder padding. It has the really deep lapels, lapels, not lapels. And then it has black buttons on it here. And again, it is a dress. This, you guys, is like an outfit all in one. You don't need to wear a blazer. You do not need to wear a dress. You have your whole outfit. All you got to do is throw on some killer heels and some killer jewelry and style your hair. And this looks so classy, you guys. So freaking classy. This is such a hit. I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to try this one on and wear it. Okay, you guys. So that is the end of How to Look Bougie and Stylish and Expensive on a Budget Part 1 Boohoo Edition. Those are my best picks from Boohoo at the moment. Everything will be linked in the description bar below. So go ahead and check it out. If you guys like this style of video and like the kind of concept and want me to continue doing these bougie on a budget styling videos, let me know down below and I totally will. And again, tell me the story you guys want and I will get on that for you guys. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.